What's up everybody, this is JCS or JCS Mobile Games. In this video, I'm gonna give you my interpretation of how to make in-fight adjustments on Boxing Manager. <clears throat> now, these are just my tips and strategies. Uh, they don't necessarily work for every fight. They don't necessarily work for every fighter, but it is a similar approach that I take to every fight. Uh, and with the context of understanding everyone's strengths and weaknesses who is participating in a particular fight. So I'm gonna show you uh, some of the texts that I go through and how I kind of approach every single fight with the objective of getting a knockout or getting out of that fight as quickly as possible. So you see, we have queued up our stable. Uh, we have a couple fights coming in uh, within two weeks on the build. Uh, Jesse Smith is up tonight and David Martin next week, the single, uh, uh, the, the super middle and the light heavy division. So we're going to go to Jesse. Uh, if you can check out some of his attributes, a uh, really good fighter, um, 18 in generalship, a really good fighter. He's low. Uh, if he gets knocked down, doesn't have a lot of power, uh, pretty middle level on aggression, defensive skills, uh, and stamina uh, could be an issue for him. Dirtiness, you don't worry so much about that uh, because it's something that helps you drain energy through a fight, but it is something to consider as you move up in the rankings and you need every advantage you can get uh, when you're going against high-level competition. But for now, we can focus on uh, Jesse Smith's um, advantages uh, in overall boxing, uh, particularly in defense, uh, taking punishment and his chin uh, and his punch accuracy. These are things you're going to want to pay attention to as we kind of walk through these tips. So we get out of here. We go to his fight. The next thing I'm going to do is look at the actual matchup. And it's a little bit better to look at it from this perspective. When you go into the pre-fight tail of the tape, you can see that I have a significant advantage in ring generalship, 18 to 2. I'm a better boxer. I'm stronger, I'm a little more accurate, and I'm a little behind when it comes to defense. My chin is better. If we get knocked down, he's more likely to get up. I'm better at taking punishment, which is body blows and stamina is an important issue because this means that through the course of the fight, if I ever have to switch to jabbing and moving, uh, I'm going to have a problem because I'm going to run out of energy. Now, let's get into the fight. And you'll see as we started off with a regular boxing stance, every match starts out with just your natural boxing style. If we go to the corner. Well, first, before we go to the corner, you'll see that through round run, uh, through round one, I had more control of the fight, even though he landed more scoring punches and power punches. He won the round, but controlling the fight looked to be in my advantage. If we go to our corner, we go through the fight instructions. And I think it's, it's worthwhile to run through these as well. Natural style, you don't have an emphasis. It's just your, your natural ability going against this particular fighter. Jab and move, exactly what it sounds like. You put this instruction in, uh, you're gonna move around the ring, reduces your opportunities of getting hit, you still can have some scoring opportunities. Use the ring, you're not really uh, throwing a lot of punches, but you're not taking a lot of punches either. This is kind of an escape mechanism if you're going against somebody with a lot of accuracy, a lot of power, you don't want a knockout punch, you might wanna consider using the ring. Go to the body. This puts you in close proximity to the fighter. You can take a lot of image if you have a, an advantage in boxing uh, talent and boxing skill, but it also avails you uh, to getting knocked out quickly because you're closer. Smother inside. This is an important instruction here. When you're going against somebody with a lot of accuracy, smother inside is a good strategy to use because it limits the amount of punches they can land on you and gives you an opportunity to land punches on them and not trade so much energy or raise that TKO, TKO level up. Plant your feet. This is a punch where you're later on in the fight. Energy levels are lower. Uh, if you're a substantially more skilled boxer, you have an opportunity to throw fewer punches, but the punches that you do land tend to hit harder, tend to take a lot more energy from your opponent. Pile on pressure sounds a lot like it, it looks. You're throwing a whole bunch of punches. Uh, this can put your opponent on defense, limits their opportunity to throw punches at you, limits their power impacting you, and it also does the opposite effect for you it gives you more opportunities uh, to land power punches and scoring punches that'll help you win uh, on the card look for ko similar to plant your feet uh, you don't have as many punches being thrown but when you do land them they're hard these are the opportunities you will take uh, when you're down in terms of energy or when your opponent is down in terms of energy and uh, up in terms of the percentage on <laughs> the likelihood of a, a technical knockout this is something you want to go to when you want to end the fight Go for broke. This is a bailout move. Um, sometimes it's, it's easy when you're when you're fighting uh, someone who's equal to you. 
It's a flurry of punches. It sometimes can create opportunities for you to get knockdowns, uh, for you to win rounds uh, in the later stages when you're trying to catch up. But it also really, really opens you up uh, for being knocked out easily. It only takes one. One thing to remember in this game, it only takes one punch uh, to get put on the mat. And then cover up. This is a, a pretty effective strategy when you're fighting someone with a lot of accuracy and a lot of power, and they have the same kind of stamina to kind of chase you around the ring. This doesn't allow you to take a lot of punches. It still allows you to deliver them, and you get to wear down energy because the person, when you're covering up, or when you're covering up, your opponent has an opportunity to wail on you but not necessarily take a lot of damage out on you. So let's go back to our, our fight. We're through round one. He took round one on natural ability. Uh, obviously, even though I'm a better fighter, one thing about this game, you can slip up and assume it's going to turn around for you, and it doesn't. If you look at our energy levels, if you look at our TKO percentage or our likelihood, we're both pretty even there, even though he landed more punches. So we're going to go into round two with the assumption that if we just box this out on natural ability, maybe I'll have a chance to even this up. And as you can see, we're still pretty close. I won the round, even though I'm still down in terms of scoring punches and power punches, I'm still down. Now, remember, he has an advantage in stamina, so I can't jab and move on him. I'm still a far better boxer, though, and I still have a lot, a lot more accuracy, and I still uh, have an opportunity to take more punishment than him. So one of the things that I can do is get in and consider going to the body. It could be a good strategy for me. It could not. Go into the body and smother inside. Remember, these are two strategies to get close and land some punches on. We just run round two. Let's see what happens when we try to go to the body. As you can see, in round three, going to the body, getting close, a lot more scoring punches. Even though I didn't land a lot more power punches, I took a lot more damage out of them. TKO. End of the fight. All right, so we're on to fight two. David Martin in the light heavyweight division, as you can see. He's a fairly middle of the road fighter at 11. Got a lot of power. Aggression is an issue for us. That means we're probably going to take more punches than we're able to give out. Uh, this also is an issue with chin um, and taking punishment. So we got a high susceptibility uh, to getting TKO'd. Uh, got a lot of stamina so we can run around the ring. Condition is a problem, so we can't take a lot of punishment. We can't take a lot of inside hits. Um, but we got are very accurate, and we're pretty good at defense. And as you can see, we got a pretty good advantage in most areas. Chin is going to be an issue, uh, and stamina uh, is actually in our favor, but we can't take a lot of punishment. Remember, it doesn't take a lot of power to put you down on the ground. So don't assume that because we're 19 versus 7 in power and we're 17 in, in versus 8 in terms of accuracy that one punch can't put us down. So you have to approach this with a good level of care and concern about what one punch could do to you, right? So we're going to go into the fight as usual. Uh, you kind of want to feel things out and start off naturally. As you can see, we took round one. We're controlling the fight. Uh, we're equal in power punches, but we're two to one in terms of scoring punches. So, and, and there's also, you know, an approach you may want to take. If you find that you're a better fighter, you may decide that you want to do this just naturally. You just want your natural talent to see if it can take you far. As you can see, our energy is not a concern. We're not at risk of getting technically knocked out. On the other hand, our opponent is up there in TKO and energy. Now, if you're boxing on natural, natural skill, chances are, unless it's an overwhelming favor for you in terms of all elements of fight, you can take this to the end of the round. But if you decide you want to be careful because you know your fight is at, at a high risk of getting knocked on the ground or getting TKO'd, you can always keep it on natural ability. So for, through the first three rounds, we've kept it on natural ability. And as you can see, we got a significant advantage in actually boxing. He's cut up. His energy level is low. This may give us an opportunity to go to the body. Now, again, you have high risk. If you want to knock him out, if you want to lower his energy, you go to the body. But if you're concerned about a risk, this is one you take with this particular move. Notice that his fight, his, his punch count went way up. Notice that my TKO number is way up now. I don't want to get close to this guy, right? Stamina, we got an advantage. Let's try jabbing and moving. Numbers back up in my favor. His energy is way down. Natural style. We had success through the first four rounds doing that. Let's see where it takes us in the later rounds.
and we scored a knockout. So as you can see, there's a lot to be there's a lot to learn in terms of in fight strategy, changing your strategy through the course of the fight. You all know that when you when you see you're taking a lot of punches and you're taking a lot of damage that you're not doing something right. But their AI changes their approach throughout the fight. So you have to be on your toes about making sure that your fighter is always from round to round in the best position for success. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.